The reason that he invited Alderman Pawar was not really anything political so much as uh, Pawar's ties to the issue of immigration. Uh, Mayor Pawar was born here in the United States and grew up in Des Plaines and now represents a gentrified ward on the north side of Chicago. And he comes though from an Indian immigrant family. His parents are immigrants and his father helped his siblings also come to the United States. And now you have uh, from that one family, his sister who's a doctor of physical therapy, his cousin who is an intelligence officer for the U.S. Army, and you have Pawar who Quigley referred to as the black sheep of the family because he's an alderman. Right now, it was Congressman Quigley's opinion that yes, something may be able to be worked out. Now, remember, Congressman Quigley also thought that the last election might usher in a new era of bipartisanship in Washington, and that has not been the case that proved overly optimistic. Right now, Quigley believes that there are more than 300 votes in the House for comprehensive immigration reform. That means that he feels that there are a lot of mainstream Republicans who are in favor of immigration reform, if for no other reason because their party is being hurt very, very deeply with the Hispanic vote by the failure to pass immigration reform and by the obstructionism of their party on this issue. The problem is that there is a part of the Republican Party that is vehemently opposed to this. And if that does pass, if the Speaker of the House, who's a Republican, allows this to pass, what will be the political price in terms of the Tea Party fueling primary challenges to members of uh, the Republican delegation in the House. There are a lot of people who do feel, despite the fact that they have spoken in favor of immigration reform, that Democrats have not done enough. Some of the very harshest criticism has been aimed at our mayor, Rahm Emanuel, who recently did a hunger strike for immigration reform or participated in a broader hunger strike for I think 24 hours. Some people thought that that was very hollow because their criticism was he didn't do enough when he could have helped that issue along as a congressman previously and as chief of staff for President Obama during his first term. 